I found another one. As you may have guessed by now, I have a real soft spot for little mechanical devices that have been left outside. And this is no exception because I think this is absolutely awesome. Where do you keep finding these? I don't this, know. Is, this is this is starting to become a habit and I'm really, really not keen on it. How do you fancy the national collection of dump trucks? No, especially as I'm gonna be roped into fixing them all. Well, yes. Yes, you will. Now, so this is Humpty. It's a cousin from another manufacturer because it's it's definitely got a short wheelbase, doesn't it? This, it, it, it? It's fatter than Humpty though. This is much fat wider. Humpty as I've named it. it. It is, but it's it's I think it's got a bigger skip. I think it's actually a bigger, despite I looking... I think it's deceiving, because this skip actually slopes outwards quite nicely. I, I, I think if it just went straight up, it'd be the same size. Do you? Mm. I, I don't know. I think, this is, I think this is a bigger model full stop. And, yeah, that's about for what we can tell. We're pretty sure that back here we have the PETA PH1, which is the same as my little dump truck. So, the, a larger dump truck, by some margin, powered by the same engine. Yes. And it definitely has to be larger as well, because you've, you've got these actual seating areas on each side, which you don't really have on Humpty. You just we, kind of have... Wheel arches like this. Yeah, yeah, but this the, these are more substantial. It is. It's definitely a bigger machine. It's bigger and wider. It also... And with a rustier skip. Oh, I don't know. I mean, that there are you holes You haven't seen it. down this corner. Although it does... It, no, that's just rust. I was going to say, it does appear to have concrete in it as well, but it is just rust. Mm. Uh, unlike the other dump truck we found, this one features such things as... The steering wheel moves. Wow. It, it, it might move for a bit, and then you'll wrench on it a little bit too hard, and, and it then off, it yeah. will come off, and it'll get thrown in the... At least it won't get drowned in the, in the bucket this time. Now, of course, the big question that we're all here to ask and to find out is, will it work? Yeah, because we're fairly certain with things like this, they're not actually that hard to fix. I mean, you give it diesel, you give it compression, and it'll turn chug, over. Chug, chug, chug. Provided it's not seized, which does mean we need to actually work out if it is seized first. Yeah. Um, I don't think this is the starting handle, and I, I can't seem to find it anywhere. No, which wouldn't be a problem. However, I never leave home without Humpty's starting handle. This is rather convenient being the same engine. It's almost like one would have thought about this beforehand. I'm hoping it's the same engine, which means it's got the same shaft on it, which means that this yes. will fit. A lot of this video hinges on this fitting. Yes, if not, it's going to be Laurie just trying to grip this turning stuff to go in. But you, you, you go ahead, you see if this works. <laughs> is that actually locked on? But is it seized? That is the real question. Oh, it sounds like the two-cylinder one we started, like sandpaper. Yeah, there's something caught in there, but... Right, the next question... It does turn. It does turn. I suppose the next question is, let's put that to where compression should be. Right. That doesn't seem to be compressing much. Oh! Oh! That's a slight bit of compression. And not a lot of There compression. is not a lot of... This... This is a low-stress diesel engine with low compression. It might need a little bit of um, oil put in the yes. Uh, valves. Yes, let's take that off and we'll see if we can put some more in. See if it actually gets diesel first. Now, obviously, in order for this to run, it needs fuel. So I've got our jerry can here that is clearly marked with D, therefore not petrol. So first off is to see if this actually has anything in it to start off with. Yeah. Is that a no? No. So uh, that probably means there's a hole in the fuel tank. That's quite possible, yes. It, yes. Oops, diesel. And it also means we're going to have to bleed it. Yep. That diesel... Um... Oh, there is something in there. You can hear it. Yeah, just about. Right, not too for that. I think you've poured more on the vehicle than you have in the vehicle, which is uh, always a plus. Yes, on, and on yourself. Well. Yeah. It does smell diesely now, which yeah. is the important. I swear this is a radiator cap. Uh, uh, I think you're right, actually. Now, obviously, this is a um, an air cooled device. We don't need to worry about such terrifying features. Now, oil we do, however, need to worry about because um, lubrication is uh, something that sounds like it's lacking because it sounds like sandpaper. Yes, so... Um, is it on my side? That's the injector there. So do we just take off from the injector there and assume it or do we try and bleed it up from all of the gubbins down here? Ooh. Oh, you want to bleed it first. 
What were you thinking? Just turn it over and see if it goes. I want to see if it's got oil in it first. Oh, oil is a good shot, yeah. Because it sounds like sandpaper. That's manky. Well, yes, it's going to be manky. It's lived outside its um, entire existence. This is the eco-friendly way to use a dipstick. Oh my God, that's like tar. There's something on there. I can see that from here. Something being the key word. It's, it's, it's minimal. No, it's, no, it's not. It is minimal, it's it, on the stick. Well, I... Th that is the minimal to appear on the stick. Th 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 that is a, that is true. Shall we top it off with um, liquid dinosaur? I do have a bit more liquid dinosaur with me, so I think it may require some. Yes. Oh God, but... <coughs> Cap seized? <sighs> yes. That's stuck, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh. Yes. Well, it was. Uh, it's also very... Gunky. Yeah. You know, there's a reason why I, I wear gloves when I come out with you, Laurie. Do you know what? I've brought so many things with me today for this. Rusty Penetrant, WD-40, Easy Start. Oh, that's very clever. Look at that. The, the thread, it doesn't screw into it. It screws up. That's so that all the rubbish around it doesn't go into the engine. That is quite clever. Right. But I didn't remember gloves. Oil. Now, I know what you might be thinking when you see this yellow shell helix oil bottle. Larry, you're sparing no expense for this. Yeah, the thing this says on the handle is mix plus mineral. This is our assorted, we don't really know what it is. Or. It's oil. It's oil. And we don't really know what this should have. So it's getting oil. It's getting oil. So we're going to put some oil into it. And if it runs, we won't run it for too long to not do too many damages to it. But the idea is a little bit of oil will make it a lot better than its current situation of nothing. Very little oil. Do you know what I should have bought? A funnel. A funnel. We add that gloves, add that to the gloves on the list. Ooh. Ooh. Whoops. Again, nicely lubricated vehicle. Rust prevention, as I've been told in other videos. That is rust pre prevention. Right, uh, my eco friendly dipstick wipe. Zero carbon footprint on this. Just the less said about the uh, the dipstick, the better. This is a poor design, the fact that it just does not... Um, oh good, it's now at minimum. Oh. That is the acceptable amount for us to start tinkering, I believe. I think so. So, diesel-y doodars. Mm. I can already see this is better than the previous one we did by the fact that this is made out of flexible and not out of plastic, yes. which you're just going to snap. Yes, so that's, that's our return back to the tank for yep. the bleed off of that. So the fuel drops down there, comes around there, and then pops up here. So we need to take that off and I'll crank. And if we get diesel spurting out of there. That's going to be a, a, a 9 24 of an inch yes. socket or something, isn't yes. it? Probably not yeah. the socket on the fuel line, but yes. Yeah. Would I you... will go and find a span. Don't worry. There's a handy storage area here. Does this, oh, I bet the, oh my, that's, ugh. That's got spider babies what on it. What are you digging out? I'm not sure. Oh God, <laughs> I can smell that from here. It's never a good start when there's an easy start. That glove smells unpleasant. Oh no. Put the things back in there, please. Oh. That does smell alarming. I don't know why he's still in there, folks. It's a bag mm. of nothing. Please. Oh God, that's... Yeah, it smells bad, doesn't it? Oh, it's wet. Oh, I wish I had gloves. I can still smell it. Oh, oh. Really vile. <laughs> yes, I can smell it from here. However, that's a really useful storage for, you know, you'd think a starting handle lives in there and not dirty rags. Mm. Oh, that's vile. It is. Tools. The hammer, we'll need that. Yeah. 
This, I believe, is a 1848 ah. uh, wrench there. What, what way is this? That's tightened, so to me is loosened. Yeah? Uh, yes, yeah, to you. Ah. No. No. Uh, we, we, ah. we can try human language spanners. Too small. Oh, it's <laughs> what have you even done? I didn't even see what you did. I don't. I overexerted myself. I reckon it's going to be a 19. You reckon? Yes. A 19 in, in, in human language. It's not a 17. Wow, if only I had an organised tool bag. Yeah, that one will do. That, that, that's a 19, isn't it? Yeah, what are you looking I'll see if I can uh, adjust. Are you in luck? It fits. It is a 19 then, oh good. There's another 19 if you'd rather try something else. I'll try the 19. The other 19, you mean? No, it's a 20, isn't it? No, it's a 19. Oh. Ow. Did you say you brought some of the rusty penetrants? I did, yes. Find some rusty penetrants. Oh, look, it fizzes and does stuff. So it's hammering, I, we think, is actually sort of moving it. But it now if diesel pours out, this is all going to be wasted. We well, won't pour out, but it means that... Oh, look at that. That is actually... It was a 19. It was, right. So we will take that all the way off. Yep. Not that, you, not that we need to, because you should just see it bleeding, but we will just see if the diesel actually comes out of the pipe now. Yep. So, <coughs> theoretically, by turning this... Oh, it, it squirted straight away. Oh, no. oh. oh yeah, no, it's, it, it, it's doing the do. Well, that means that... Uh, it's... We don't even need to bleed it. That well, that is yeah. We need considering to how tight this was. I'm not actually surprised that we don't need to bleed it because it does feel like this was. The, it probably it, drove itself here. It, the 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 gentleman who owns it said it did indeed drive itself here, and then he's never needed it because over there's a nine ton one, so he's never needed this one. Yeah, this is kind of surplus to requirements, and it's just kind of lived out here for many years. So what we need to do is put that back on there, and then. Put that back on like that, leave it loose and just get it so it's chucking out like that. Leave that at the bottom of the thread. Yeah. And keep doing that so it chucks it out. Keep doing that so it chucks it out. Oh, that's a new unpleasant noise. That was a new noise, I don't know what that was. Right, I think we are. It is dribbling a little bit. Can we tighten that up? I'll keep twisting, we'll just tighten it up. Uh. Ah, turn it spanner, turn it 90 degrees. And 80, yeah. and forward, yeah, there you go. Yeah, doing it through a camera lens is hard. <laughs> That's tight. Yep. That's tighter. Right, so. Is this better than giving the tank oh, a blowjob? Oh, there was compression that time, I stopped. There was compression? Yeah. You can hear it, it's got compression. Should we try the old fashioned technique of giving it some more compression? Uh, I think we should just try starting it first and see if it goes. Okay, okay. Right. So when I said we're going to start it, you, do you know what I actually meant? I have a rather sickening feeling that I do know what you meant. These, um, uh, these noodly arms won't cut it, I'm afraid. And everybody at home, you knew what he meant as well. I can do this bit. Right. Go! You got white smoke? There's not a lot of compression there though, is there? <laughs> <laughs> what 
Why is that making you choke and not the, the, the box of terrors in there? Because it's all I breathed in. Oh. <laughs> Came this way. I think nitrous dioxide is really, really good oxygen substance, actually. This is going to go. Yeah, the amount of white smoke. This get, this is giving me more hope than Humpty did when we first started that. Oh, yeah. We had to tow that with a tractor. WD-40 on there. Oh. Now, one thing I have done is actually make sure it's not in gear this time. Because, oh. um, I think I think if you put it into gear, it should move. Yeah. The alarming concern is, is that getting into gear is not particularly easy. That might be the issue of this one, because... There! That's, that's oh, but it does move! It's rocking. Well, yeah, it's moving and winding it towards it. You put it into reverse. Oh, I have put it into reverse. If all the gears put it in, reverse is not the one. Right, no, now go forward. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, it's, like, it's like a bicycle. A bicycle, oh, I see. Yeah, I want... you, you, yeah, you just, it's, it's, it's person powered, right? Let's get it into neutral. Let's get it into neutral. Have you tried pushing the clutch? I was doing that before and it still didn't like doing it. Yeah. Okay, uh, I might have made a horrible mistake. <laughs> have you actually got it locked in gear? Um, I think so. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah. I just needed a tap. You needed the tap. Yeah, not a, not a fourth. Okay, that's that's neutral. <sighs> Ready to go neutral. again? Right. Go. Um. Um. Have we become confident? I'm alarmed! Oh, it's dying off. It's shutting itself down. Yeah. It's just... I mean, I'm not going to complain, but... Have we become confident? Yes. No. Definitely no. Make it go away. Ha, 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 ha. The exhaust runs right by the on-off. What? To turn it off. <laughs> I've just held my hand right in there. To turn it off, you have to grip the exhaust. No, try it. The exhaust, you have to push that yeah. all the way in. So your, your hand's on the other, all the way to you. Not moving. Right. Pull it in. There. Keep it there. Got me like really pushed, but I'm burning myself on the exhaust to shut it down. I just want to make sure we can turn it off. This is a better engine than Humpty. Yes. I am I am I am both stunned and overwhelmingly disappointed. I'm overwhelmingly impressed, but also have you seen the state of me? You're clean by your standards. Well, yes. I mean, more burnt than normal, but clean. It, it, that is a terrible bit of design. The fact that the exhaust comes through there yeah. and you have to... I can't help but think there should be a lever or something on yes. there instead, because that is, is not very smart. I can see why you'd park it up if you had to give yourself third degree b burns to turn mm. it off. You know what? Mm -hmm. Well, we've so far... Shown that we've got a vague idea of how an engine works to be yeah. able to test it, to be able to bleed it up, manpower to start it. Yeah. We, manpower to simply move it on the crank. We can confirm that the gearbox works. Yeah. Are you going to give it a drive? Yeah. Attempt number two. It is better than hunting. It is better. Does that make you disappointed? A little. I don't think the clutch works. No, that's the, that was the issue I found. Yeah, you are driving to some steel beam. I'm trying to work out how I'm going to do it. I've got no clutch, no brakes.
better than Humpty as well. Yeah. Yeah, there's no play in the steering wheel. I can't stop it. That's the thing. So there are a couple of things about this which are noteworthy. Numero uno, throttle delay. It's not so much throttle delay, it's throttle sticking. It's also showering me with rubbish. So a bit of good old fashioned WD on everything. Oh, I see, there's a whole mechanism under there. It's a bit better, maybe. It's not, is it? Number two, the brakes do nothing. There is nothing. Why is your solution to everything coat it in WD-40 and hope it works? Isn't that Mechanics 101? The handbrake is seized in the off position. And the clutch, that's the biggest issue. The clutch does nothing at all. So what we have here is a far better steering wheel because it moves the rear wheels, although a really weird system at the back here because the connecting, what do you call that, connecting? The steering linkage, steering yeah. Steering linkage, yeah. It's on the back, so there's a bumper bar at the back to protect it from being damaged. The steering's better, the steering box is better. The engine's better. The engine is definitely better, but the rest of, well, the chassis is probably better, but the drive, because unless I've managed to fix it, because I believe that the way of dealing with it is just to go. Mechanical sympathy, as it's called. Oh, did it work? Oh, no. No. It did! I fixed it! I fixed the stock clutch! By stamping on it. <laughs> I did it! I know what I'm doing! So we can now actually select gears in it when it's moving. Or in when it's stationary. Yeah. Um, it, sometimes it doesn't become stationary because... There is, there's nothing. There, there's no brakes. Um, he's tried to fix it with WD-40, but... I sprayed all of it. Mm. Not worked great. So we're going to have to be very, very careful when you take this for a drive mm -hmm. because there's lots of nice things around here mm -hmm. and, and you have to remember that the noise pedal is just going to make you hit things. I mean, the noise pedal does not... <laughs> it's, the noise pedal is great until I want to stop. Yes, exactly, because not only does it go down rather crunchily, coming back up... Um, it's the vibration, isn't it, that yeah. brings it back. However, we have now fixed the, the actually turning it off issue by use of a hammer and not by just beating it. Yes, it's... We think that... There are definitely some things missing. Like we think probably, probably there should be a bonnet and some kind of linkage so you don't have to grasp the very, very hot exhaust pipe to get to the throttle linkage to shut it down. It's going to be especially hot after we've driven it around here for an hour or two. Yes, yes it is. Please don't lose the hammer. Please don't lose the hammer. Right, okay. I, I promise I will not discard the hammer in a bush somewhere. Actually, no, it's my hammer. Yeah, you don't want to lose it. I promise I won't lock it in my car. Now, there are some things we think with this, like the brakes, we're pretty sure, should be hydraulic. Now we've looked at them, and as there's no resistance on the pedal at all, that probably means there's no fluid. No fluid, or the fluid has absorbed so much water now that it's ceased to exist as brake fluid. Yeah, and that's something that, A, we haven't walked with us, and B, we do not have the time and effort to investigate. But, I mean, in terms of problems with this vehicle, that's actually 
probably the largest one is is just a little bit of lubrication and fluid it needs which it's better than Humpty. I would never go as far as to say Humpty was a financial mistake. I don't think wasn't. anything which costs £25 can be classed as a financial mistake. But if I had the option between this for 25 quid and Humpty, this is the far better financial offer. Fat Humpty is, is, is superior. Yes, it is. That would be a great name for it. Do, would you call it Dumpty or Fat Humpty? Dumpty is quite good. Because I like Humpty and Dumpty. But I... I just to try, I am not currently planning to buy this. I didn't say anything. <laughs> All right, I am in position. We need to start it, don't we? I like how we didn't actually consider that at all, did we? Nope. Go! No, go on, do it again. Go! Oh, it starts so much better. Get the off switch! Right. Again! Top gear! Are you sure this is a good idea? He doesn't want to stay in third. Oh, do you have to hold Jobby Tom in third? I'll try second. Second's alright. Second works fine then. Does, though. Yeah, the alarming, almost dead noise. He, I probably could do with putting some oil in it. Noise. Yeah. Actually, uh, this is really good. Really good, or just better? Yeah, it's not a big bar, is it? Really? No, exactly. Uh, what it is? I initially, I was unsure if it would start. I genuinely was. I can't hear you. I wonder if they can even hear us. Unlikely, I'd have thought. It's not the quietest vehicle, is it? No. I'm just imagining just subtitling this, just completely incorrect thing. <laughs> Geopolitics. Yeah. That. Do you want me to hold it in first? That's, that's the wrong way. That's reverse. Yeah. The gearbox seems to twist more than actually move. Yeah, I mean, certainly there are some issues with the gearbox for the fact that it doesn't want to engage yeah. forward. Well, that's better. I've, I've, 
got the throttle up now. Yeah, Zach, I can hear you now. I actually think this is a really good little machine. I don't know. You the... think most things are a good little machine? Yeah, but even by my normal standards, this is a, a really good little machine. Well, yes, by your standard. But again, we're talking about very low bars here. It's working. Yeah. It turns around on like a two fence piece because it's got a tiny, tiny, tiny like yeah. wheelbase. It starts happy. Yeah. The it does not stop happy. No, but I mean, that could be worked with. Definitely should have something in this area. Yeah. Uh, Although I'm not I don't know. Sure it does. I think this might be right. Yeah, I can't. Cause I can't see where you'd mount anything. And the thing there for the the dumper yeah. comes right to the fuel tank. So maybe it never had a a case. No. Which is alarming how easily you can lose, say, your stop device down there. Oh yeah, yeah, that would be gone forever. Look how it traverses rough ground with ease. With incredibly alarming noises. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Oh, it's going to keep going regardless. I mean, well, yeah, I mean, you might actually want to not hit the other tractors, though. A bit more. Oh. <coughs> You're off key, sir. Thank you very much. You missed. I did. But you can use the inertia of it. Oh. To, uh, it doesn't want to die. It's actually better at uh, Humpty for coming back to life. Like yeah. Humpty will refire after a bit, but this one, if it's still turning, it will fire back up. I think it's sad to be parked up here again. It doesn't want to go away, does it? No, it, it kind of enjoyed its drive. It's like, you're taking me home to a new place. And we're like, no, no. You're, you're, you're coming back here. Mm. We're kind of... It does feel kind of sad putting it here. We haven't even checked with the frontal tip as well, which is kind of... Um... Ah. The answer is yes. That, that skip is in far better condition than yeah, my one. Actually, it is, isn't it? This is a far this, better this, vehicle. I mean, this side is uh, a bit crunchy. This side is crunchy, but it is plateable rather than it needs a whole new skip like my one does. Oh, this, this whole side needs to be placed. Oh, really? Yeah. Nah, I don't know. Well, we'll pretend that didn't happen. But yeah. It's quite good. So that basically brings us to the end. We, we have become surprisingly competent. Either that or this wasn't actually that bad. I mean, there, there is that. This was definitely an easier job than the previous dump truck, which is actually coming up on screen now, if you take a look at. Yeah, that, that was a real challenge. But I think how we went about this one was, it shows we've grown. Yeah. We've grown. Um, and it was maybe a little surprising. So let us know, did you think it was going to start, guys? And were you impressed when it did and it went for a drive? Hmm. And with that, thank you very much for watching. We hope you enjoyed us being, I don't know, able to achieving something achieving something a amused by a tiny piece of farm machinery a construction plant yes and somehow you're going to find another one somewhere i'm going to be dragged along to that yes because this is not the last one no no it's not no it's definitely not we'll find more stuff